Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we will do part 1 of chapter Circles. In this part 1, we will understand what is tangent to a circle and its theorem. First, let's see what is circle. Circle is a collection of all points in a plane which are at a constant distance from a fixed point. Constant distance is radius and fixed point is center of a circle. Now let's consider a circle and a line in a plane. So there can be three different situations. First is a non-intersecting line. Second, a line intersecting the circle at two points. And third, a line intersecting the circle at exactly one point. A line which intersects the circle at two distinct points is called a secant of the circle. Like here, line L is intersecting the circle at two distinct points. So L is secant of the circle. Students, we will study more about secant in higher classes. A line which intersects the circle at only one point is called a tangent of the circle. Like here, line L is tangent to the circle which is intersecting the circle at point P. And point P is the point of contact. It is the only point which is common to the tangent and the circle. Students, every other point on the tangent lie outside the circle. Therefore, of all the points on the tangent to the circle, the point of contact is nearest to the center of the circle. Now let's understand theorem related to tangent to a circle. Let's prove one of the important property of tangent which is our theorem number 1. Theorem says a tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. We are given a circle with center O and radius R and tangent AB is intersecting at a point P. We have to prove OP is perpendicular to AB. To prove this, let's take any point Q on the tangent AB. Now join OQ which meets the circle at R. Now let's prove it. To prove OP is perpendicular to AB, we have to prove OP is the shortest distance between point O and point P. We know OP equals to OR because both are radii of the same circle. Also, OQ equals to OR plus RQ. This implies OQ is greater than OR which also implies OQ is greater than OP because OP equals to OR. Since OQ is greater than OP, OP is the shortest distance than any other line segment joining O. Hence, OP is perpendicular to AB and thus we have proved the theorem that a tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. By this theorem, we can also conclude that at any point on a circle, there can be one and only one tangent. Now let's do some questions of NCRT exercise 10.1. Question 1 is, how many tangents can a circle have? A circle can have infinitely many tangents. A circle is collection of infinite points and from each point on the circle, we can draw exactly one tangent. Question number 2 is fill in the blank. 
first is a tangent to a circle intersects it in how many points? One point. Second part is a line intersecting a circle in two points is called a secant. Third is a circle can have how many parallel tangents at the most? Two parallel tangents. Next is the common point of a tangent to a circle and the circle is called point of contact. So students, in this video we learned tangent to a circle and its related theorem. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video then do hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook and make sure to press the bell icon. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.